Hi, I'm Kristen, and I'm here with CompleteHairStyles.com, and I'm here giving you the word on the street, and we're here today with Miss Navajo from Y98.7. Hi. So, how are you doing today? Good, doing good. Okay. Um, well, basically, I just want to ask you a few questions on your career and uh, on, like, the types of hair products you use and stuff like that. Just getting okay. the word, you know, find out what's going on with you. Cool. So, um, when did you first get started with your career? Um... My junior year in college, I started working part-time for the station, mm -hmm. you know, on the street team, doing promotions, and I actually got internship credit for it, even though I technically wasn't an intern at the station, okay. so that kind of took care of my credits in school, and after two years of working on the street team, and like, I did overnights on air, you know, part-time, getting paid seven dollars an hour, okay. just kind of like preparing for my next step, because you, you never know, like, if a spot opens, then you have it's, to go right then there. You, you got to be ready, you know, to fill the spot or to interview for it or whatever. And when the spot opened on the morning show, um, Orlando asked me if I wanted to do it, and I was on it, you know. Okay. I was ready. I was there and ready, so. You say your junior year in college. Mm -hmm. Okay, so going into college, did you know that you wanted to go into broadcasting or, you know, DJing and all of that? I wanted to be a veterinarian when I... Wow. <laughs> That's college. a huge change. It is. <laughs> what and brought about that? Well, I have a cousin that's in, in radio. Um, mm -hmm. He's been DJing and been on air in New York for years. And he came down to Orlando for a couple of years. to. Um, he was on the night show at, it used to be 95.3 Party. And now okay. it's the beat, I believe. They changed from like a dance to like a hip-hop format. Um, and he was on air four years over there. And I just, my brother was going to school at the same time that he was working at the station. And I used to go up to Orlando, visit my brother, and we would go hang out with my cousin at the station. I'm like, okay. This is cool. You like, like I can that. do this. See? So, um, I met, it's a weird story. When I, my cousin went back to New York, um, Special Ed, who's our producer on the morning show. Okay. Special Ed interned for my cousin when he was in New York, when Special Ed was, I mean, when he was in Orlando and Special Ed was going to school in Orlando, he actually interned for my cousin. So, I met Special Ed at my cousin's wedding when I went to New York. Okay. When my cousin went back to New York, I went to New York to go to his wedding. Met Special Ed at his wedding. Ed gave me, you know, just some advice on how to get into radio. And maybe like a year later, I called the station to apply for a job. Okay, okay. Well, speaking of advice, what advice would you give new and upcoming DJs that, you know, want to go into radio or someone who's going to college who wants to get a degree in broadcasting or something? What, would, what advice would you give them? I would say stay in school. Um, probably the best thing to do is do an internship or a lot of um, news stations and radio stations take, like, part-time either doing promotions or whatever, you know, assistant just take it just whatever take it, it whatever entry level seven dollar an hour job you can get at any kind of broadcast outlet whether it be tv or radio i would say take it because it's a great place you know it's a great opportunity to move up and to learn a lot of different things while you're in there you know all right so how does it feel being the only female well, let me tell you that i want to choke the guy sometimes <laughs> i have an older i have an older brother and i feel like it's my older brother times four in there. Okay. So the teasing, the hair pulling, the poking. <laughs> I feel like I'm, we're 12 years old and we're on the playground and the boys are picking on me all day really? long. Yeah. But it's fun when, you know, when the day ends, it's all... It's oh, definitely. I love them like they're my brothers. Like, we may get on each other's nerves all day and, you know, argue and bicker at each other. But at the end of the day, those guys are like my brothers and I love them to death. And I wouldn't, you know, be here if it wasn't for them. They've helped me out a lot. So... That's a good thing. Yeah. Okay, so... What is your motto, like your motto for life, your motto for every day, just getting through every day or getting to the next week, what is your motto, what do you go by? Because I know it can get hectic sometimes, um, being Navajo and, you know, being on the radio and stuff like that. I know sometimes it can be very stressing or you can be depressed at times. What motto do you use to just keep yourself going, to give yourself that mm, from day to day? I just always try to stay in a good mood and try not to freak out when things, when life goes haywire, you know, when you have no money in the bank or you're stressed out about work. I just really try to take a deep breath and look at the whole perspective of things and like I'm healthy in that sense, you know, <laughs> healthy, I'm not dying, I'm not, you know, losing my home or anything like that, so just try to take a deep breath and enjoy life, yeah. try okay. not to stress out about everything. Okay. So moving on to hair, because that's, you know, what we really want to know of about. Of course, of course. Okay, so you had long hair and now you have short hair, um, what, what brought about the change? Well... My friends actually been pressuring me for, they were pressuring me a long time to cut my hair. And I'm like, no, when you have long hair, 
it feels like part of your body. It's like, a part of you. It's a part of you. And I'm like, no, I don't want to cut it. It's like, I feel like I'd be chopping off an arm. And finally one day, I was just like, screw it. It's hot outside. It's Florida. Time for a change. Let me just chop off all my hair. It's so this cool. stuff is amazing. Okay. Obviously, you're not supposed to wash your hair every day. And my hair gets, like, I can probably go, like, two days, but my hair gets pretty oily after, like, a day. This is basically dry shampoo and you spray it in your hair and it comes out almost like a powder mm -hmm. and it, I think I really think it just absorbs all the oil in okay. your hair you spray it in leave it in for a couple minutes comb it out and it literally like I don't know if you wanna it, see it comes out like white like a powder mm -hmm. almost um, comb it out of your hair and you, you can go a couple more days without washing your hair <laughs> Okay. I know it sounds gross, but it's, it's you know what a pain in the is, pain in the butt it is to wash your hair. <laughs> yes, I, I don't wash my hair. I just go on so and wash oil your hair. and stuff. I, being as an African American, we put oil and grease in our hair. So right. Why, you know, why don't you guys use oil or grease, or what is the problem with it with your hair? I don't know. I have friends that with wavy hair, you know, same texture as mine, maybe a little thinner or thicker, and they can get away with not washing their hair for like a week. But me, for whatever reason. My hair just gets oily really quickly if I don't wash it, so reason for the dry shampoo. I, guess. <laughs> I don't have to okay. wet it up in the shower. And you speaking of, you use a product that you get from the salon called by Kevin Murphy, which yeah, is Bodyguard. Bodyguard. Okay, so how do you use this? Like, what do you do? Um, just after the shower, take like a little dot in my hand, rub it in. It just protects you from the heat and, you know, the environment, <laughs> all the harshness of the, uh, of the outside. He used the chest okay. makes oh. hair spray. We love the best hair. hairspray ever. <laughs> <laughs> that was commercial. Keep salon products for you know, <laughs> do a good job. In your career, where do you see yourself five, ten years from now? Do you see yourself having your own radio show being syndicated and all of those things? Or do you see yourself completely out of the field of radio or modeling somewhere in Milan or you know? Yeah, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um I really would like to say in inside the entertainment industry, I'd like to do television. Um whether that be, you know, on camera or behind the scenes. I don't really know. I'd really like to do some behind the scenes stuff eventually. I mean, I, I would really either like to work for a record label. I would love to do that, too, eventually. Okay. Or probably something in television Just broadcast. Just all Yeah, I, w I would love to stay in the entertainment industry. And I really, what I really want to do is make a lot of money so I could do, like, charity work and not-for-profit wow. stuff. Oh, that's that's good. Yeah, I want to be comfortable enough to be able to. Speaking of nonprofit, are you in any organizations or a part of any organizations or community work right now? Um, I volunteer for the SPCA right now once a week, and I'm actually going to um, New Orleans to rebuild houses for people that lost their homes in Katrina. Okay. With the, um, it's called the Saint Bernard Project. Okay. They're like a little association over there and by they, themselves. Yeah, yeah, they take okay. volunteers that come to New Orleans from all over the country. And. If you had to give me one thing to take away from this interview about your profession or about your hair or just about you in general, what would it be? Um, I'm a pretty laid-back person. I like to have fun. I don't really get mad a lot. I just like to keep a good attitude and, you know, like I said, focus on my goal. Okay. <laughs> well, on behalf, of the, on behalf of Complete Hairstyles and myself, Miss Kristen, we would like to thank Miss Navajo for coming here and giving us the word on the street and just... Come by and check us out on CompleteHairStyles.com. Um.